Welcome to the first in a series of videos where we are going to show you our software program entitled Salvage Resale Inventory Manager. This software was designed specifically for the salvage resale or otherwise known as Benton Dent stores. Currently our software is in use in over 30 stores across the nation and has been in use by these stores in some cases as many as five years. The highlights of this software are that it contains a pre-built inventory of over 150,000 items, over 11,000 brands, and 525 categories with over 2,300 sub subcategories and 49 different unit sizes. This program is compatible with Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP. Our particular program is completely networkable. You can put it on as many computers as you wish and unlike many other companies which charge per seat or per computer for every license you have in the business, we do not charge for that. In your business at one location, you can use it on as many computers as you wish, keeping the data on one computer and accessing it from other computers or from that main computer itself. Also, we do not have any yearly maintenance fees. The price that you pay for our software covers everything. Your support, your software, your licensing on as many computers as you need. We're also IT experts and can help you with networking. We do recommend that you have a local company for that that you work with, but we certainly can help you get that far. So let's begin. The program itself is built around the concept that you will need to enter your vendors because they will be unique to you, although we have some in our example program. And by the way, we have offer a 14-day uh, free demo completely uh, fully functional. With it, you can install the program, have 14 days to look at it, use it, test out your scanners if you have one handy, or you can plug in the UPC codes by hand if you wish to see how it works. These demos are timed so they will expire after a certain date. If you need more time we certainly can help you with that also. So in order to use the software program you need to put in your vendors and you need to build what we call or add a lot when you get your product in from a broker or a vendor you will need to scan them into a lot. That way you can track all the information about that particular lot that had come in. I'm actually going to go from this screen for a moment, the main screen that comes up, and I'm going to go over here briefly to the vendor maintenance screen. Now on this screen, you will see that you have a vendor ID, name, address, city, state, zip, phone numbers. Basically, to get started, you'll need to supply a vendor ID. Now, I'm going to actually click the down arrow, and you can see we have a number of vendors that we built in here. And if, if you start typing, it will match if there is a vendor with that particular ID. Now, I have put one in here, I believe, called test. Uh, I might have to check that. Let's see. Let's slide to the bottom. Actually, I guess we called it fake vendor. Now, if you type a ID that it doesn't have, it will prompt you if you want to add that particular record and information. And you can go ahead and fill in, like I did here, the vendor name, address, and information, and click Save Record. But you will need to get your vendors in in order to begin. Also, there are lots. Lots are something you're going to need to put in in order to get all your items into a particular lot. I'll just drop down and pick our test lot that I've already added. You can see on the screen here, you can add new lots. If you click that button, it's going to automatically give you a lot ID, and you can put your information in. Particularly important is the vendor that's attached with the lot. Of course, there are drop-downs for that also. And the cost of the lot and the date. So let me exit out of this. Let's go back to our lookup. And by the way, there are two lookups. There's normal size, and there's a larger size, which is helpful depending on the screen that you're using. So the first thing we're going to do is click Scan into Lot. And we're going to pick the lot that we set up already called Test Vendor. And you can see there's a number of lots that are already in here. Okay, that gave us information down here on the screen with the lot number, the vendor's name, and the current date. Now we're ready to begin scanning in items. I have with me a box of Sweet and Low Zero Calorie Sweetener. 
I'm going to take the USB wand and I'm going to scan that and let's see what happens. And there we go. There's the product with all the information that's part of our pre-built database of over 115,000 items. Now once you've put information like that in there, there's some other things on the screen that might be helpful, like calculating lot value. If I click that, it tells me so far, uh, and apparently picked up an item I have done earlier uh, in this particular lot, so the total of our lot so far is $2.10. Here's something also that is very, very handy, so you don't have to, if you wonder how much your value you have in your lot, rather than use calculate lot value, you can start and stop the quick accumulator. I'm going to hit F8, and right now it's at zero because we haven't really started it yet. And as we add items in, let's go ahead and scan that sweet and low one more time. Okay, the accumulator has begun to add things up for us so we can kind of get a feel for where we're at. We can also, if you'll notice at the bottom, there's an F10 key where you can start and stop your lot tracking. Perhaps you need to go and pause things for a moment while employees are getting other uh, things together before they begin scanning again. And by the way, you can have multiple people scanning into this database of your products. Uh, if you have two computers side by side, they can both be scanning in, and uh, the more people scanning in, the quicker your load gets in. Okay, so that's a real quick, quick look at the item lookup maintenance screen, which is where most of your work is going to occur. So for now, we're going to stop this video. We wanted to give you just this quick look and tell you about the product itself, and we'll be back with more videos.